Hey, here's tired and stoned video re request from the youngster. Uh, I think his name is Andrew Brown or something. Um, he wants me to do a video called Being a Teenager. Okay, so being a teenager. So teens are the people between the ages of 13 and 19. Um, that's six years. So to somebody like me, six years... It's kind of like a project, you know, it's like, you're kind of the same person, you know, it's like, whatever, it's like, a couple weeks go by, but to a teenager, that's the transition from child to adult, and it's like, seems like a really long time ago, and so much happens, and lots of changing, and lots of learning and stuff. Um... Yeah, and I, so I guess it's kind of figuring out, like, what you're all about. <coughs> So, um, so I guess I would, I would do this video, um, and make it kind of like a, like an advice, like maybe like advice to the younger me, to the teen me or advice to teens or my perspective on what it is, like how to, how to, the, the good outset mindset to have, to have a, a good life for a teenager. So, yeah, so I think teenagers, um, um, that's kind of like at the beginning of your career. And so at, at that point on, when you're a teenager, like when you're, it, I'm, I'll talk about uh, the later bit, bit of teenagers. Um, like when you're just leaving high school and leaving home. Um, <clears throat> that's like when you're first starting to take responsibility for your own self and your own trajectory in life. And so I think any successful person would tell you that um, that they started their trajectory early, they knew what they wanted to do, or everything that they did ended up <clears throat> um, lining up to help them become who they are, you know, so they didn't do a lot of um, sitting around, twiddling their thumbs, um, or wasting time and stuff. Um, you know, people who I think are privileged would have a much better chance of um, of having success because they can um, use all of their energy and time to uh, for their career, while somebody else who doesn't would have to work all the time, and uh, they wouldn't have as much time to create something, and then you could get stuck, um, and then kind of lose heart. Um, so for a teenager. I think it, I I would I think it's important for teenagers to think to have the mindset that um, uh, whatever they do um, helps them uh, you know achieve something in the long run. I think I think teenagers should have um, an idea for the long run. Every teenager for themselves, and I think this is going to circle back around to my to me my own philosophy about stuff. Um, I think everybody's uh, long-term goal should be the same long-term goal, um, um, you know, with some, obviously, some very vari variations where there's lots of different kinds of people, but but pe our long-term goals should, should be very, um, very clear and laid out, um, crystal clear. We live in a crystal clear age of information now with internet and websites and just there's no reason for anything to be hidden, you know. Um, I think one part of the revolution that people who are teenagers now, I'll make this like a two-part, um, I hope this video doesn't crash, the other one crash. Um, um, there's, there's like two, I'll make this like a two-part video, there's two parts about uh, things I could talk about being a teenager in general, but also being a teenager now, like like this generation of teenager. What is this generation of teenager to the world, to the whole history of the world? Because the requester is a teenager, um, and and I'll talk about that for a little bit right now. Um, so in order to to just to explain a certain type of teenager. Um, or a certain type of anybody, you want to uh, provide contrast, okay? So I'll talk about um, the contrast will be m when I was a teenager comparing 
uh, my when I was a teenager, um, my era, and then the era of the teenagers now, and then maybe in the and then you know one in the future after that. So the so the requester so Andrew gets to be in the middle and then compare himself to one in the in the front and the back. So let's see if Andrew. I would say I would just guess Andrew. At, he looks like he's 16, but I'll guess him at 18 because that's that's just what my have in my mindset, you know, the beginning of your career. And so I'm 42, so uh, that's 24 years older. <clears throat> okay, so that's a quarter century, so 25 years. Okay, so every quarter century. <clears throat> that's like a generation. Um, <clears throat> almost like 24. Yeah, so like a father almost. I'd be like a young father. So, um, yeah, so, uh, um, okay, so my generation of teenager, we are the ones who got to straddle both, both sides of the, uh, world, uh, paradigm in terms of technology. Because when I was a kid, I remember what it was like when there was no internet at all. No cell phones at all, no internet at all. Just TV. You know, and that's totally different from now. Totally different. And I remember that very clearly. Like I grew up all the way through high school and like internet came around in college, but in high school there's no internet. So um, I got to experience, you know, and still I'm in my prime and I'm like young, but like internet's full blown. You know, so we got to, ex my teenager got to experience the technological revolution like the in the center we got the eye of the storm of the technological explosion i think my my generation i guess the x generation now the um the millennial i guess the 16 year old that's what i'll call you uh, unless they have a new one after millennial i don't know but you guys are the ones who are going to experience the revolution um in terms of uh culture in terms of just people's general outlook on life and i think that is an even bigger revolution like a more even a more um exciting um well in terms of providing more uh creative pathways to more people um for me our our creative pathway, you know, the kind of jobs and things that we could succeed at have to do with technology, you know, like being a computer programmer and um, and developing a new, uh, you know, technology, technological stuff, working in the, tata, you know, technological fields. Um, but that's kind of still like like engineers and stuff, you know, like tinkering and inventing, kind of like how we all we've always done. Even though it's such a big, uh, you know, leap, it provides people the opportunity to make big jumps in mind in, in their mind and how we think about things. But um, it's uh, it's not as ripe territory. It's not as fertile ground because not people aren't it, because mentally we live in a very closed-minded society. So it's harder to think about advanced you know mental concepts you know like like uh historical algorithms um you know um historical examples of of everything you know just just sheer knowledge of, of important his interesting historical stuff and not polluting your head with um trivial uh news and like uh like like useless, evil, and crappy news. You know, like what's going on in the presidential race. Nobody's talking about anything. It's just insults. And so, so I think the people who are who are uh, um, teenagers now um, will, uh, when they're my age, like in twenty five years, they will um, be living in a in a very fertile environment for them to be able to explore their mind um, as much as they want and 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 have immediate um, uh, um, reward from it 
um, you know, and I, I, you know, like financial reward. Um, I can picture, you know, and even in 25 years, I could picture the, the um, economy improving to a point because we just become more streamlined and um, in the way we live and um, um, our, fix our economy to the point where we can develop socialist programs <clears throat> that help people network together <clears throat> to uh, develop um, new just ideas and things to talk about. And people would, you know, <clears throat> because it's something that people listen to and pay attention to listen to, people would make money at it. You know, and if you're not making money, you're participating and it's entertaining. And, and so, um, and so what I'm talking about is like ideas, um, like somebody like developing on, on other ideas that other people have just developing and developing on new ideas. For example, like for example, if I make my, uh, my history timeline now and my bike racer level page and all my Google earth maps and all that kind of stuff, all these other people can come in later and they can create, they can use the maps that I made, Google Earth maps that I made to create ancient civilizations, you know, from, from all the ancient uh, ge um, geological sites they find, archaeological sites they find, so they can make like, in, you know, maybe with their imagination. And then connecting with psychics, you know, and they're like, oh, and they could recreate Atlantis and recreate Lemuria and Mu and, you know, and create fantasy story, like stories for them, you know, like J.R. Token, you know, and then just piece it together and with our minds, just piece together the past accurately how it was based on logic of what, you know, we think what would happen in that situation and what we can find archaeologically, you know, that's like one example. And then, um, you know, like psychology, just comparing different kinds of personalities. People could create all kinds of experiments with people or um, um, analyzations with people, you know, digitally, um, taking snippets of people talking, using high-powered um, um, uh, programs to to analyze people and, and then, and then, and then make categorize the people and talk about people, you know, I mean, and just invent new ways to communicate. Um, so anyways, that's what I think people who are teenagers now will be able to do, like be able to just do something original and, uh, and grow. Um, and, and then that will like plant all these kinds of seeds that will then grow into new ideas. <clears throat> like a fertile um, garden, you know, as opposed to what we have now, which is, you know, if you get like for me, for example, if I get out yesterday and I start talking about, oh, my idea about, about the three dimensional mountains with all the tracing Google earth um, on, uh, you know, color coded on the mountains and you can make the movies that go down and you can click on it with your cell phone and, it's going to be so awesome, I'm just, you know, and then, you know, instead of people being like, oh, wow, yeah, and then this and then that, they'll be like, they're like, douchebag fag, ha, ha. you know, like, there's, it's just not a fertile ground. Um, and, uh, and then politically, you know, uh, people can't, um, if you talk about the issues, they don't even believe you, because everybody lies all the time, you know, like, like Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. Donald Trump says all these lies. Hillary Clinton says, you know, defends herself, says these things. And he's like, a liar, ha ha. And then people, all the Trumpians are like, of course. You know, so it's just, it's not a fertile ground. If everybody's lying, you can't say anything because they just don't, nobody believes you. And it's just blah, 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 blah. But if uh, people, you know, it's kind of like if you wanted to compare um, uh, aluminum to a diamond. Diamonds all organized in perfect structure so you can send energy through it and <clears throat> very um, um, quickly because it's organized. But like with aluminum, it's just jattered. It's just jumbled. Nothing's connecting, you know, so no energy can pass through. It just dissipates, you know. And so that's kind of how our society is now. Energy, <clears throat> the energy of ideas <clears throat> and um, 
and like envisionments of, of the, what the future could be and will be and how it would to do this just dissipates and in, into chatter now um and so um so yeah i think if like in the future you know like a thousand years people look back i you know i could you could say you could have like two i would put two um generations that got to experience the most my generation and the the people who are teenagers now mine got to see the technologics and then the people now uh with the with the mental you know and also i think with aliens you know becoming common knowledge is going to happen while gener um teenagers people who are teenagers now when you know when they're ruling the world and then the jobs and stuff like maybe in 25 years so um yeah i think it's in <clears throat> teenagers now super important super important but now teenagers in general back to the original idea subject I think teenagers in general um, should be given a like we should develop an, um, a um, a very crystal clear, well laid out map of pathway. Okay, it's kind of like the world school. You know how people make make schools and they make they develop their curriculum and it's like you're gonna learn this and you're you're gonna learn this to learn this and it's gonna the stepway the pathway to knowledge. You know, but but a lot of people it's like proprietary, you know, like why do people pay all this money to go to some school and listen to some talk? Why don't we just um have our like gov have people have somebody build one or have the government build it, right? And sponsor it. And so like and then it you just it's kinda like Facebook, you know, it just whatever the best way it just naturally kind of organically develops. And then we come up with this, with this like master, just from different people creating their little own, their little own, this big master, um, like, um, body work of knowledge that people are expected to know if you're, you know, if you become interested in something and also to, to encourage people to be in, uh, interested in everything. And so you could, there's like a certain like up to green level of, of knowledge like everybody should know because it's all related and so if you have a certain level of knowledge like learning a language you know you learn one language learning the next language is easier and then the third even easier well it's the same thing with knowledge you have a certain good knowledge base then anything else you learn in any subject it's gonna come very quickly and so um, and so I think for teenagers we should have like we should just have like you choose just different jobs, you know, or types of person, like 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 doctor, okay? This is a doctor. Well then you go to the government and you see the you see the uh the list and it's just a, an entire list of everything that they would need to know if they're a doctor, you know, and then you have it down the lines of, of what you would ex what a normal person who works eight hours a day studying or whatever should know at this time. And so they just look at the list and they go, okay, so I'm, and you know, in five years I'm supposed to know this, and six years I'm supposed to know this if I learned this. And they just do it themselves. They, moti they motivate themselves and do it themselves. And so, so yeah, teenagers now, as far as the, you know, the changing of the, uh, the way we think, you know, economically, you know, they will go through the big economic change too. Not just technology. We went technological. They'll go to uh, economics because, um, I hope this doesn't die on me. It's still going to piss me off because I've talked 18 minutes, 46 seconds. Um, yeah, the economics because um, they, uh, oh no, I lost my train of thought. They, uh, <clears throat> people will be self-motivated, okay? Like we won't have to be led. Like in, like in 20, 30 years, people will look back on now. Like now is just the, the breaking point. It's about to shatter. You know, it's like just about to pop. You know, I see all these like University of Phoenix, come study at the University of Phoenix. And their reasoning is like, I saw the, the commercial on TV. It was a black kid. He's like, my mama, before she died, she just said, just get a degree. So I got my degree. So he got, and he got all that debt. So his dead mother would be happy. Like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? There's like no reason to go to college. Um... And so in the future, people will just self-motivate because, because you can learn stuff online. You can talk to people Skype online. You can listen to the audiobooks while you're riding your bike, which is the best time to listen to it, instead of going to some class. You know. So that's that's um, people will self-motivate, and so, and so because of that, we'll have a very s laid out 
um, system of stuff to know a level of uh, stuff that you you know for example me my timeline I make I'm doing the one for history and uh, so it's my timeline everything that happened in, in history color coded it's not done yet but so once I finish it then you just gut it and but you keep you just put circle X's and O's or whatever but with the same color and the same font and so you just fill it in like you give 13 hours it's like how much in 13 hours or you know if I just sit here or maybe if you give me like a week like eight hours a day for a week how much can I fit in? What's my score? Boom, that's my knowledge for history. And you can do it for everything. And that's basically what it what it's going to be, what everybody spends their time. So I think um, um, teenagers should be uh, given that. And so because when you're a teenager, that's kind of when you're, when you're building who you are. Now, I think in the future, it'll be so open and liberal, you know, and free that when people be, are teenagers, they'll just do a little bit of everything, you know, kind of like me being a stoner, I'll do a little bit and then I'll give up and do a little bit of that because I'll know when I get to the end, it'll all tie together anyway. But nowadays, you know, when we have limited time and concentration, you know, at the beginning, uh, people, we should set forth, you know, just different kind of um, industries and, uh, and have show people what they should expect to know and, and then, yeah, so, and then just encourage teenagers to be able to decide early what kind of person they are, you know, just be categorized, you know, and, and in a way that would make them feel like make every different kind of person feel like they're all equal and, um, to society and, and, you know, um, and, um, yeah, and then just help them decide who they are so they can move along that path. But I think um, I think we should uh, encourage and kind of point teenagers to to show <coughs> everybody like what the what the right path is, you know. And I think it's important for people to realize that uh, you know if I was like a, the mentor of the teenager talking to myself now, I'd be like, it's important for us to. Uh, to um, become uh, very efficient and uh, just like w like realize that what's important in life is knowledge. Um, that's what we should value is knowledge. Um, because now we value and, and Donald Trump's a perfect example. Now we value we put um, we mark success with how much money you have you know, and what you own and what you have and like in your position. And, but if we live in a society that's not, um, uh, um, you know, that can't go on, then why would you consider that success? You should consider success some, somebody who's able to break through and make it, um, something that can go on and so um you know so for example if you're a, like a lawyer you should just you should only do you know um <clears throat> cases that you should do and not do cases just for the money you know and then and, and 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 if you don't have enough money just be happy that you make a lot per hour and then spend all your extra time riding your bike and learning history or riding your bike you know and and and, uh, you know, and all the people with the uh, trade secrets, you know, if you give up your trade secrets, tell everybody your trade secrets, then you can help transform the world and your industry to the next level <clears throat> and make our economy more efficient and which helps everybody. You know, the reason people have trade secrets is because of fear that they're not going to have enough money because they'll get like squeezed out. But you want, you'll just make maybe less now temporarily but you're paying into the system for everybody and you'll everybody will be richer later on. So um so yeah, I think I would I just think teenagers should be taught like if we're having school colleges and or high schools, you should have class like you know, the the important classes shouldn't be math, you know. Like all these like we're just instructive like this is what you're going to you know, barking at you and telling you they should the, the classes that they need to have are 
um, are, uh, oh man, I was just going to say it. Um, okay, so knowing what you, uh, your ideas about stuff, um, um, yeah, giving up trade secrets and, uh, yeah, everything, everything having to do with, um, blossoming people's own individual, um, I ideas, whatever, I forgot what I was talking about. But so, yeah, um, that's what we should tell. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to say. We should tell, we should instill values in, in our, in, in people in high school. That's, that's in our, like in our educational system, that's the most important thing. And the value that we should instill is knowledge. Um, not making, not trying to make money. So, for example, um, you know, homelessness. Homelessness shouldn't be uh, looked on and, and uh, negatively at all because uh, if you're walking, you know, watching a homeless person walking down the street, that's a person. You know, like that's who they are. You know, that's it's really that simple. You know, but the way that it is now, people look at somebody walking down the street and they're like, "Oh, homeless person!" Like they're because kind of, they're connecting it to everything that they own and stuff. But, but if you do that, then that means it doesn't matter like who they are or what they know. But what people should know is he's homeless person walking down the street. Oh, what does he know? You know, what are his ideas about this, 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 and this, and this? And if he's like, "I don't got an idea about none of that," you're like, "Oh, okay." He's one of the, you know, the, the. Uh, the special people, you know, and you should be happy that they're being homeless like that anyway, because they're using a lot less money than somebody who's living in an apartment, less less resources. Um, you know, they clean up after themselves, or at least train them to. You know, or use our our our, our money, our good economy to pick up. Anyway, so yeah, that's what I'd say about about teenagers. Teenagers, if you if you have a good you know, I'll go back to the people who are successful. People who are successful are people who go, oh yeah, I did that. I knew who I was and I did that. And then, because whenever you get started on your career, that's when you get started and everything builds up. So if you're not doing a career or anything, then it's kind of like you're getting a late start. So, um, so yeah, I think, and, and, but if we put the value on not like making money and doing career and stuff and value is knowledge and then you could of course and when everybody's smart we have a good economy and then you know it's all about what you can learn um, when you when you do that um, then everybody will uh, will strive for it and then every when everybody does something it like catches on like wildfire and then everybody's just just sitting there just trying to to learn um yeah so um and to teenagers today like fear-mongering like the world um you know the environment's bad and uh you know we could a lot of there's a lot of war and uh but with the technology that we have now and then the, the rapidly changing um, world with people traveling around and even even mentally, people waking up to you know corruption in the government. Uh, the world changes really fast, and it's going to change, and so it'll get better. You know, it's not all the fear monger you're hearing is 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 a vestige of the past of people just of just lying to try to push their own you know, agenda, you know, like Jill Stein, I saw her interview and she's like, oh, but if Hillary gets a job, gets elected, she'll try to start war with Russia, you know, it's like, oh my God, come on. Um, nobody wants to have a nuclear war. So, uh, yeah, so I would say that the, the future is bright. Um, oh, and also teenagers, uh, like, like word to the wise, advice to teenagers. Um, like, be careful for your on your health don't like you know hurt yourself because it could carry on you know and then cause like ripple effects later on like try to be good to, not you know and i don't mean like exercise all the time just don't get like an injury you know because 
they never go away. I sprained my ankle when I was like 20 and when, whenever I walk now, I, you know, it hurts. Like every step I take a lot of times, it just didn't, didn't know you all the way. So yeah, just <laughs> be good to your body and eat well. And uh, yeah, but uh, but be happy that you're alive and, and don't ex and expect to be able to live a long time. You know, you're young enough that we'll have a medical advancements and probably fix the economy. Um, that will uh, and get the population under control. That you'll live for a really long time. So, just enjoy and try to improve your own. But, but try to de develop an, uh, interest and stuff. We need to develop a world that tries to make everybody interest. And the way that you make everybody interest and stuff is by allowing everybody to be themselves because then it can inspire each other in all the different ways because there's lots of different kinds of people. So the, you have the more different kinds of people being excited and doing stuff, you have the more opportunities for different people to latch onto something and take off on something exciting, you know, instead of just have to hear like negative stuff, you know. So, okay, that's what I think about being a teenager. It's like a half hour. All right, peace.